Okay, in this video, I'll show you guys how to find the surface area, and we are given the curve to be tangent x, and we are going from x equals to 0 up to pi over 3. So this is the curve that we are talking about. And first, let's talk about what happens if I take this and rotate about the x axis. Let me show you guys a picture first. So to do so, I will just draw the curve like this, and then do a mirror image like that, and then you put like an oval like this to make it look like three-dimensional. And to make it even better, you can stick in the x-axis and then put down the y-axis, like that. How nice is this, right? Anyway, here's the deal. I will just draw a little line segment like this on the curve, and this is meant to be a little straight line. And this is going to be used to approximate the arc. And I will call this little thing to be dl. Now, recall, to get dl, it actually depends on the given information. Since we are given y as a function of x, I will use the following. dl is the square root of 1 plus parentheses dy dx. Once again, if you are given y as a function of x, use dy dx right here and square, and the outside is the dx, this version. You have to consider dl because you are going to take this and rotate and you will get more area and yeah, in fact you don't use the dx from here from that, not from the picture, but you will get dx because of the dl formula alright, so be sure you know you are aware of that now, what we are going to do is we pretty much rotate this part and I'll just draw a picture maybe like this right? so imagine if you have like a roll of toilet paper and you can just unrotate that, right? So you can just unroll that, you pretty much get this. And when this portion is small enough, when this portion is small enough, it's pretty much DL. But you are going to find the area of this. And this right here, well, this is the circumference, so you have to know 2 pi r. So right here you have to know the r, which is the y distance. Anytime you go from the x-axis up to the curve, it's the y distance. So you have the 2 pi y times the dl. And that's pretty much the idea. And you add a bunch of them, that's pretty much it. So that's just a quick explanation, and now let's finish this. So for surface area, I think the notation is s for many books, so I'll use s as well. I will recommend you guys to put this down first. Once again, it depends on the given function. Here we have y is equal to a function of x, so you write that down, which is square root of 1 plus, and we have dy dx, and of course we can figure this out. dy dx is just secant square x. So I will put down secant square x right here, and we will have to square that, and I will have to put on the dx on the very outside. This portion is for dl. Now, we are going to have the 2 pi, and pay attention to the radius, which is the y in here. Once again, if you rotate about the x-axis, in fact the radius in this situation, it will be y. So you put down the y here, and you are going to add a bunch of this, you have the integral. You are in the x world, so pay attention to the x value. It goes from 0 to pi over 3, so 0 to pi over 3. That's pretty much it. Unfortunately, in the x world, the y is not invited, but it's okay, don't give up, because right here it says tangent x is the y. So, I can write this down for you guys. Integral from 0 to pi over 3 to pi y is tangent x. And then this guy is still the same, so I'll just open the square root of 1 plus secant to the fourth power, because square square and then you have the dx right here. And that's pretty much it. Use a calculator, you will get about 10.5017 for the answer. Okay? That's pretty much it. Now, let's take a look of what if we rotate this about the y-axis. Take this, rotate about the y-axis, here's how you control the picture. Well, I will draw the picture here, and then mirror image, and then you put it over like that. <laughs> And you have the x-axis sitting down here, and you stick in the 
uh, while I just and stick this out. That's pretty much it. Anyway, do the same thing. You still have to consider a little straight line on the curve. And this is again the L. And because we are still talking about the same curve, why is a function of x? We will still be using that. We will still be using that. So the integral is the following. Uh, I will just write this down for you guys in this situation. I will still be using this, so I will put this down right here. Square root of 1 plus parentheses with still the secant square x inside. And I will have to square this guy. And we are still doing this with respect to x because of the dl, because of y as a function of x. Now, here is the change. I will write this down for you. When we wrote here about the y-axis, you know, the picture of that thing looks like this. You have to consider the radius. Radius now is going from the y-axis to here. And this is the horizontal distance and changes, so you label that with x. So the formula for this right here is 2 pi. The radius is x right here. And you still integrate because you're in the x world, so you go from 0 to pi over 3. And I'll just write this down real quick for you guys. This is the integral from 0 to pi over 3. Well, you see here, you are in the x world, and this is x, so x is good. So this is good. I will just keep it as how it is. 2 pi x. And I'll just pretty much write this down. Square root of 1 plus secant to the fourth power x. And then this is dx, like that. This will be the setup for this situation. And let's just finish this real quick. The answer to this is 7.9353, approximately speaking. All right? So, summary. When you rotate about the x-axis, the radius will be y. And when you rotate about the y-axis, the radius is x. And for the the square root part and the d whatever part, that's the dl. It depends on the given function. Set this up, and of course, you should do a few more practice to see the set of all the things. And as always, that's it.